Hey, Key Bros, what do you say? Well, you know this. Keep Pee Piazza coming at you. Hey, uh, this video is a, um, basically, I'm showing you guys how I used um, three, three of my live keyboards. Um, Chrome 61EX, Chrome 73EX, and the Studio Logic uh, Numa, Compact Numa 2X. That's a long name. But um, I split and layer the shit out of all, uh, the, all of all my stuff. So at at uh, at one time I'm, I I got like six sounds at my fingertips, and uh, and uh, so the video is going to take you through the three keyboards, how I use them, and I hope it is my intent to uh, give you guys some ideas on what type of splits to make, and you know what I mean. Um, you get the idea. You take it, do it, do it, whatever you want. Okay, so. On with the video. Hey, Key Bros. How you doing today? What is up? Well, I've been doing a lot of programming on all my keyboards. Uh, last June, I went out and I bought two Chrome EXs. Uh, I bought this one. It's a 61. Then I have a Chrome EX 73. And then I also have a uh, Studio Logic Numa Compact 2X, all right? And what I normally do is I kind of have them all set up in departments. Uh, now, this keyboard here, the 61, it's a, it's a top keyboard. And this does a lot of lead parts, all right? And then the, the EX73, it does a lot of organ-based stuff, which you will see on part two. And um, and I use a lot of splits and layers, and uh, that's what this whole video is about, utilizing your system. And uh, what's nice between this and splitting this up and doing all these layers, dealing with the uh, 73EX, same thing. Then with the Numa 2X, uh, I'm doing, I'm not splitting it, but I'm doing a lot of layers with that, which you'll see in part three, okay? And um, now these are all combis, and I got a, everything kind of based in sounds here. I play in two bands, so um, I need to keep track of my sounds. Uh, so um, now we're in combis, and this is my first song. This is uh, part of the Marshall Marshall Tucker layer, and this is um, a flute. <laughs> And in the bottom half, I got a nice. And I usually go to this during the second verse, but like on uh, normally I'll do organ. And I'll go. Like... piano intro like So that's the Marshall Tucker songs. We do uh, Love Song and Can't You See in a medley. So. And then uh, we do that Showdown. So I got all those switching layers on that. Um, then this is my main, this is like, kind of like my home page, this is the main brass. Alright, and I got horn hits at the bottom, so like...
All right, so I, I use that in a lot of different, um, no. This is a really cool, Pat. Now, this is my, uh, it's like in the sax. <laughs> Since uh, an effect sound behind that. away. split I'm using. This is my, uh, and I use this um, clavinet a lot. Uh, Footloose. 
Nossa! Orchestra hits on the bottom, then I got some effects. cool and um okay that's about basically it uh i think all my stuff ends at nine and uh, so those are the combis then i have some goodies programmed into the uh program section and we'll hit those and ones i don't use it i don't use it but i put them in there if i do a singles act i'll use <laughs> Another one's another type of guitar. <laughs> DW800 lead, 8,000 lead. Harmonica. That's when I've been working. Oh, switch one. Okay, one is just a. Then when you hit switch one. Well, it's got some distortion on it. Um, now, this is the one I really like. Um, pedal still and then if I need it like so if I need it like hand claps or something percussion I have it in there so that's basically uh, the patches um, the uh, layers and the splits that I use on the this one all right and uh, in part three, I'll show you what I do on the um, the Numa. All right. But when you put all three together and you're playing live, man, it's just like I'm having a blast. And this is like the first time in a long time I was really psyched up about a live keyboard rig. And between the two chromes and that Numa 2X, man, I am having a blast. Even in my, in my rack, I have my mixer and I have a vocal unit. And I used to use a, an uh, Oberheim Matrix 1000 module. Well, I don't even need it anymore. So I took it out. Now my rack's like 20 pounds lighter. So, but, all right. So we're going to end this. And we're going to go to part two, the 76. Ready for magic? Hey, Key Rose, what do you say? Well, you know, this is Keith P.P. Isaac coming at you. Hey, uh, today's video is about keyboard organization, all right? And uh, so I'm, I play in two bands, all right? And uh, one band don't use a set list, so they can just call them out, and you have to be ready. So what I did was I uh, simplified my keyboard where... I got different sounds where I can grab it. Well, what's nice about the Chrome EX, it's got a number pad. And um, 
so and I also made the numbers bigger by using my label maker and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I got things organized basically my home page on the organ is going to be I call it master organ and uh, what that is is that's a organ split on the bottom I could turn it on the Leslie and then I got like a a more powerful organ up on top it's a split so okay and uh, that's my home page then I have um, like uh, FX pads with B3, so the FX pad would be on the bottom, the B3 would be on the top. Um, I got B3 on the bottom with a power synth on the top, or power synth on the bottom with a B3 on the top, B3 on the bottom with a lead synth, and synthesizer on the bottom with a lead synth. All right, then I also have a uh, clavinet and organ mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the stand and I'm going to show you a couple sounds here. But um, by label and everything, I could jump jump really quick. And I use two chromes in my rig, and I also use the um, um, this thing I want to go on. I also use a Studio Logic Numa 2X, and uh, so um, I'm like having a blast. Um, with this live rig, I mean, it's really kick ass. And let me see if I can bring a zoom in. Yeah, there we go. And uh, so, I'm gonna show you a couple of songs. Um, a couple of things I got if I start way at the beginning. Now, these are all in my um, F bank, user F bank, okay. <laughs> That's a piano. I never use it. Uh, my new me does it, but there's another one I wrote, Pianos and Strings. All right, then there's my master. Uh, this is the organ. Then I have B3 on the bottom. So I could do the B3 with the synth. Space pad. This is a really cool program. It's a it's a clavinet with organ in it. Thank you. No, you're too kind. You're too kind. All right, and I also put a applause. All right, and then B3 and upper synth pad. button or to switch one it 
kind of a whole bunch of stuff set up on that. Uh, B3 again. cool you know and, and what's really cool is now these are just set up for, on this keyboard i got the same thing going on with the uh the chrome uh ex that i keep on top in my and that does like a lot of my flutes uh i do a still a pedal steel guitar I'm all, all my brass section and everything's up on that one and i got all type of layers up on that but they're different style uh different types and uh, so I got all this stuff going on. Then plus the Numa 2X, you can layer and everything. It's amazing what I got going on. Uh, uh, this is a power synth on the bottom. <laughs> B3 with a mono. Okay, now these are lead synth. synth with the same lead song. And uh, so that's what I got. Then also, uh, I got a couple of goodies in programs. And um, I got a full organ. my favorite this is a Rhodes and this thing's even got now if you hit the A switch it's going to give you this keys real hard like on the roads it gives you that dead hammer it's awesome man you take vibrato off and now if you hit the b switch it gives you more overdrive And then 
So those are the only two I got in programs. But um, so this is what I got going on just on this keyboard. And I'm going to make another video, which will be on the 61 and all the goodies I have on that. Okay, keep you together, saying goodbye. Hey, Key Bros, what do you say? Well, you know, welcome to part three of getting your keyboards to do what you want. And uh, now, as I stated, uh, I think in part one, I use three keyboards in my array. All right, I use a Chrome 61 and a Chrome 73 in the middle. And uh, the one on the, the chrome up on top does like my horns, and it's kind of like all my lead parts. And also, I got a lot of splits going on where I, I could do uh, some left hand cording with various patches I have. And then the uh, the uh, second keyboard down does um, the 73, that's kind of an organ and does all my organ sounds, plus it's got some synth leads on it. And then this is my granddaddy. This is the guy that does uh, the pianos, all right, and various layers, all right, and uh, it's the new my Compact 2X, and uh, so this is like my workhorse, and um, you know it's very cool. Um, got the uh, This is set up with a synthesizer patch. Also, this has aftertouch. So if I hit the chord harder, I can bring in an LFO. So it's really cool. back I'm gonna go and what I do at the beginning of the night I basically set the whole keyboard up so for acoustic piano I'll use the Japanese grand all right and then for electric piano um, this couple of Walitzer I like this one Wrong. We could, uh... So you could add the different effects. You have effects one, effect two, and that. But um, then over here, we're, we're done with that. So then we'll go to the lower sound. And what I normally do is I'll set this up for um, for flutes. <laughs> Now, what's nice is if you mix these in with your piano, you could add synth. Let's pick a good synth. Pretty cool, and you bring in a piano. All right, and we'll kill the piano, and we'll go to uh, orchestra. 
I could keep that with string. And other, I usually set that up for a choir. Now, what's, real, what's nice is a little reverb on that. Then you mix in. Keep this as a lower, so we're going to go to organ. Get rid of the piano. Mix that in with piano. Stuff it does, and then with the the, uh, the Chrome 76 with all the stuff it does, and the Chrome EX61 with all the stuff it does. Hey guys, I'm sitting pretty, and uh, but I'm trying to give you guys some different ideas for various layers and splits that you can do, and I'm using these three keyboards. And now let's talk about weight. I was here. Let me take this off the stand. And I'll give you an example of some stuff here. All right. Um, there we have the uh, Isonic MR76. I love this keyboard. Um, it's fantastic. And I'd still be using it except the bastard weighs like 60 pounds. All right. Another heavy bastard. Um, the Triton. The Triton Studio 76. All right. Another heavy bastard, original Phantom, the, Phantom, the FA-76. Um, these keyboards are about 50 pounds each, all right? You know, I got lighter ones. I got, like, my VP-550 uh, Vocal Ensemble. That's light. Um, my Gaia, that's pretty light. And uh, then my uh, Juno Stage. This keyboard's fairly light. But if you look at the boards I'm using live, um, this 88 Numa, it weighs 15 pounds. My Chrome EX73, that weighs like 16 pounds. And the Chrome EX61, that weighs 14 pounds. All right. My God, it's, it's just the stuff sounds great and it's light. And on top of that, they're fast to get around on. Um, so, I mean, I could jump around to all the different programs. But um, the purpose of this video is to give you guys some ideas how I do splits and layers. I play in two bands. Uh, one band's a classic rock and southern rock band, and the other band's a classic rock, and we do some country. And uh, so I got to be on my toes to, to jump through all my programs. But um, um, that's basically what this video is about. So I hope it gives you guys some ideas, and God bless, and we catch you later.